Hey, today I'm just going to be going over some of my, I guess, favorite brushes, like what I used when I first started doing makeup. Um, just, I guess, some essentials, um, especially like for beginner makeup people that are kind of like, oh gosh, what kind of brush should I get? What kind of, you know, I had a request just to see what kind of brushes I started off with and things like that. Um, okay, so here goes nothing. Uh, the first brush that I use um, for my eyes is this e.l.f eyeshadow brush and it's a dollar you can get it at HEB um, it's really just gonna be for when you have it all over the lid when you pack stuff all over the lid it's really comparable well not comparable but because it's a lot softer than the um, 239 so this is the Mac 239 this is the elf uh, the elf one is a lot softer this one is a little bit more stiff but this one will definitely do the job It'll do the job, and it's only a dollar. You can get it at, like, H-E-B, or you can order it from eyeslipsface.com. Another one I have is my e.l.f. Blendy. Uh, this is my e.l.f. Blender. It's really just a, uh, a blender. I mean, kind of right here. I was in love with this brush until I found my 224. But, I mean, this one will still do the trick. It'll still blend, if you will. So, I mean, I do recommend this. Especially if you know you're first starting off and you don't want to spend a whole bunch of money on a brush. So this is definitely something you want to get a dollar. H-E-B. Eyeslipsface.com. Um, another one I do have is my e.l.f. Okay. My camera is inverting everything and I don't know which way is right and which way is left. It's really confusing me. Can you tell? So bear with me. I'm really having a hard time with this mirror effect I got going on. Okay, anyway. Back on task. Uh, this is my stiff, stiff, ooh, got some stuff on there. Nasty. But this is my stiff, um, e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. I use it to do, like, the crease if I just really need a stiff color. <laughs> it's really tripping me out. But if I really just need, like, a stiff color, uh, I mean, a stiff brush. I haven't, uh, they might have a MAC brush that's kind of like this, but I haven't found one. So, I just like this. I don't really have kind of like a dupe or suggestion for this brush. Not saying that there's not one out there. I just don't know what it is. So, um, another brush that I have is this little smudgy brush. I use this mostly for when I do my, um, whoa, did I go cross that for a minute? Hmm, I was trying to look at this brush and I think I did, but back on task. Oh my goodness, ADD to the fullest. But I have um, this. I use it mostly for my highlight when I'm trying to do my like my inner corner and things like this. But this was like $2 at Target. So then I have this brush. It's a concealer brush. I'm not really a huge concealer person. So I use it for my eyeliner. I did use it in this last video that I did for my eyeliner. So kind of looks like this. Sorry. Okay. Now, um, I've already showed you guys my 239. You've seen it. Um, it's very stiff, kind of. Well, it's not super stiff, but it's stiffer than that e.l.f. dome brush. It's going to pick up a lot, a lot of color. That's why I like it, because it picks up a lot, a lot of color in just like a few swipes. And it's going to really pack on the color. But it's a lot more expensive than the e.l.f. one. But, I mean, it's personal preference, really. Then I have, of course, my baby, my 224. <sighs> I love this brush. Um, it's really a good blender. Like, it'll blend it out two flicks of the wrist. It's blended. So, I really like this one as a blender. MAC 224. 224. Um, another good blender. I just got it. It is a two. Wow, did I rub these colors off already? I mean, these numbers off already? Tragic. But it's a two. 17. You can't see them because I rubbed them off. Brand new brush. Ridiculous. It means I'm doing way too much. But, it's a bit stiffer. Then a 224, and even if you see them like side by side like this, this one, see how easy and soft that one is? This one's just a little bit stiffer, has a little less give. So this is going to be when you're really trying to like maybe smoke out the color. And this is just, you know, when you're blending it out. And, um, oh, I do have another MAC brush. It's my 219. This one works good for, just, just ignore it guys, just ignore it. Um, it works really good for under the lash line. I really love this as a pencil brush or if you're doing a cut crease. It really works as good, like almost like a pencil marker. It, of course it is because it's a pencil brush. But I really like this one. So I'm going to kind of go over something I kind of feel like are dupes, I guess, for each other. I don't know. But I think, you know, if you don't want to go out. Oh, tragic. Sorry. Wait. Okay. 
if you don't want to go out and buy like um, a 239 which is this one this one oh god they're all $24 and up so I don't remember but they're all like $24 and up so if you don't want to go out and buy this one buy this one for a dollar it's gonna do the same thing and if you need a little bit stiffer buy this one for two dollars so I mean this one I got from Target it's studio tools pretty stiff this one elf a dollar this one's Mac so beginners I would suggest just getting the dollar one just so you can play with it and see you know that way you don't wash waste waste a whole lot of money uh, 224 Oh God, I haven't found a blending brush that's amazing as this, but this is an e.l.f. blending brush. It'll pretty much do the same thing. It might take you a little bit longer, but it'll pretty much do the same thing. This is a dollar. This was like 28, 24, 28, I don't remember. But yeah, it'll pretty much do the same thing. Uh, and it's a dollar. And all the e.l.f. brushes I like, they actually say what they're supposed to do on the little bar thing. So it's going to actually say blending brush. And this one is going to actually say I eyeshadow brush so now um the 217 wait yeah this is a 217 sorry uh i think this target studio tools is like a tapered uh, blending brush will do the same job almost this one's a little bit stiffer the mac one's a little bit stiffer but the studio tools one will kind of do the same thing this was like three dollars three uh well oh sorry three four dollars at target so and then um for this pencil brush um i do kind of this concealer brush will do the same thing but really this little smudger is what i used before i got that little pencil one it's stiff you just put the shadow right here on the tip and go under so i mean that that's pretty much that um yeah so as far as like face brushes i use the elf total face brush to brush on all my powder so it looks like this. It's huge. It's like one of the softest brushes ever. For my blush, I use this little thing. I got it from CVS. Essence of Beauty. It's a little short, little cute brush. I love this blush brush. I love it. Um, this I got from CVS. If you buy the package, uh, it comes in with a set of like with uh, four brushes. I think they're, but they're all dual ended brushes. So you get like eight brushes on four sticks. So I really like this brush. I use this part for blush, this part for maybe contouring, or if I get some fallout under the eye, I'll just swoop it off with that. And, um, let's see. Oh, foundation. Pardon me, it's very nasty, but this is my foundation brush. I have a concealer, and sometimes I'll use this to, like, blend out a base or something like that. And, but, I mean, that's about it on brushes. So, for beginners, if you're trying to start, you know, a collection and use the right brushes and things like that, I recommend the e.l.f. Um, eyeshadow brush, the e.l.f. blending brush, the um, studio tools from Target, smudge brush, and it actually says smudge right there, um, the uh, studio tools, it's like a, I think it says tapered crease brush, it doesn't have it on here, but it's going to be in the cosmetic section, and then so, and then if you're going to do eyeliner, I recommend this one because it's very, you'll get a lot of control with this and you won't get a super thick line. So it's about five brushes. I'll put all the information in the sidebar because I am having one heck of a time maneuvering all these brushes in my hand. But I'll definitely put that in the sidebar and, oh yeah, these things, these things, if you have any, I need you to collect them all, put them in a pile and throw them away because I hate them and they're trash and they're stupid. But, um, I guess they make good maybe Q-tips. You stick it in your ear. No, okay, no, I didn't say that. Don't stick it in your ear. I don't want you messaging me when you have to go to the emergency room and get it, uh, yoinked out. So, that was it, guys. If you have any questions about brushes or anything else, just, um, hit me up. Let me know.